up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel Chess Doctor here with another banger and in today's video we are going to go and test out which opening move is better e4 or d4 so I have noticed that many people on the internet like to argue is e4 or d4 better and I was sitting today and thinking what should I make this video about and then I wanted to play two games, one that I will start with e4 and another one that I will start with d4. So we're going to see what type of results will I have with these two different opening moves and which one is going to, you know, give me a win. So let's go, let's start with e4 and let's find our victim. Okay, so here we have our first opponent. We're going to start with e4 and they're uh, called M Biggers. 0, 1. So they're 581 rated. They did G6. Okay. Uh, so this is just modern defense with E4, D4, Bishop G7, Knight to F3. Okay. Whatever. I have no idea what half of this means, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it truly doesn't matter. So we're just here to test out the theory. Which move is better? So I closed off the position like this because I don't really care. I'm going to go here with my bishop. It looks very stupid, but I don't know, is it truly? Okay, we have this, so I can maybe go with with this bishop here. Because I don't know, I can move my pawn, but I feel better if I develop my piece. So he's attacking this. Should I take it? Should I take it? That That is the real question, guys, because... If I, uh, if I take it, he, he still has this bishop, but if not, then I'm having some trouble. So I'm going to take it, you know, because I don't want to have a pawn here just alone. You know, it's better for him to be here because at least he's blocking this, I guess. I have no idea. I don't know. I feel like here he would be easily taken. So that's why I didn't do it. So now we're just waiting for my opponent to do whatever he wants. In this modern defense that we are playing. And he's just straight up still thinking. I mean nothing special happened yet. I was thinking that e4 is going to have like results of maybe more tactics and things. While d4 is going to be more solid. But here we are. So once again attacking this. This poor pawn. I'm not gonna move that pawn, dude. I don't care. I'm gonna do this actually, cause why should I? Now I'm now I'm sick of this, you know. Now I had enough. <laughs> now I truly had enough. So we have to move our horse. I mean, the only available option is like this. Honestly, he takes what? Guys, never play e4, guys. <laughs> Just, you should never ever play e4, okay guys? Because I just lost the bishop because of this. So this is not a very sound opening move. Th that's what I'm gonna tell you. So uh, we're probably going to have better results with d4 instead of e4. Because, you know, this just proved to be the worst move you can ever play. Because I just lost the bishop, you know? If that's not uh, evidence enough, I don't know what is. So now we are going to, I mean, where am I going to move? I'm going to move here, right? Do we have anything better? We do not. We, we sadly do not have any better horse jump or whatever. I want to preserve this bishop. But this is just a miserable game now, you know? Just a miserable game because that's just what opening did to me, you know? I'm just here testing it out. So this is like very experimental here in chess. Testing out which opening move is better. So we have a rook to f8. Okay, sire. We can go here with the check. He moves there. Okay. Okay, okay. So maybe go here. <laughs> We don't have any, literally any checks. I'm going to go queen c2. Why? Don't ask me. Literally do not ask me, guys. 
Because I have no idea why. I feel like he's going to trade up rooks. He doesn't. He does this. So the dude... Excuse me. Did he literally just give me a full-on rook? So maybe we actually should play e4. After all, <laughs> maybe e4 is not that bad. Because now we're plus two, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We can do this, you know? So what did he do? You kick my bishop, you peasant. <laughs> I'm going to go with my bishop here because I don't even if we trade it up like I don't care trade it up fine I'm up material why should I care so do we have any tactics now maybe sadly nothing yet But there probably will be something. Oh, wait. Maybe we can go here with a check. That sounds good. That actually looks okay. <laughs> okay, so we have to move our horse now. So we're going to go back here because we have nothing better to do. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. But maybe we can like reroute him or something. That would be interesting. He wants to trade queens. Hello? Oh, I won my resignation. Oh, because he blundered her. <laughs> okay. So this is a game with e4. I don't know what to say. At first I was like, don't play it. But maybe I was too quick to judge, you know, guys? Because this actually brought me a very interesting position in which my opponent literally uh, had no idea what's happening. And uh, as soon as I gave this check here with the queen, I knew that I was winning because my queen is in seventh rank and he has to go back here. You know, I have this horse here. He has to move. Uh, but still, this rook is really menacing and he blundered it all with this move, queen e7. Uh, I literally can just take and call it a day and have a free queen. So currently my standing on e4 is that it's a really wide op uh, a wild opening. Uh, but you have to be careful, you know, your opponent can blunder, uh, but you can also blunder as well. You know, it's full of tactics, but you have to know which tactic you have to play and which won't bring you good results, okay? So let's go now and find our D4 victim. Okay, so here we are. We have our uh, Israel's gal uh, opponent and we're going to play our move D4. So here, I don't know. I think I will go and play the Catalan. He's playing the Horvitz defense. I mean, E4, like, why should I care? He's not in okay. Because I was scared that he going to do some Karokan things here. And I don't like that thing, you know. I don't like it. So we're going to develop my horse. Go like this. Play something. I don't know. Is that cattle? And this is French defense. Mediterranean defense. So this defense has two names. It's both French and Mediterranean at the same time. So now he's attacking this. But I don't really care. So I'm going to go here. And just develop my bishop into this little thing uh, that I like to call his house. I could have taken with the pawn, but I really like a, a good solid horse center jump. Even though this will probably bring me back. I mean, we can go here, but I feel like this is better. Why, why not? Horses can go back, so why should we care, guys? So, so far, so okay. I don't have any thoughts yet. But I'm probably going to have in a couple of moves. Don't worry, guys. I always have something to say. So, he's like here, what? Mimicking my position or whatever. Okay, c4. And now we can... Develop our horse like this, maybe. Even though that blocks my bishop. 
Queen C2. That that was a killer move last time, so we're going to do it now as well. Why not? Queen C2, guys. You can't make a mistake with that, I guess. So this bishop here, like the whole point of this is, you know, he has potential throughout the game. Staring here, so when this moves, you get like a rook or something sometimes. It truly depends on what your opponent plays, but... Sometimes you can get really nice things out of this bishop here in, in Catalan. I mean, we are not playing the Catalan, but like my position was supposed to look like the Catalan, you know? But we did a couple of different moves. So he gave me his light square bishop for my horse. Thank you very much, sir. Because now I'm looking at this. I mean, he is defending. I'm going to leave my position like this and castle up maybe. Or should we first focus on development? Like this or like this? I feel like this is better. In case if he pushes a pawn or something, you know. But if he pushes this pawn, like I have a rook. So he has to be careful. But see, we are playing more solid chess when we are playing d4. e4 was more, more wild, you know. Okay, so now I'm going to develop my horse, call it a day and castle up. That's how I feel about this play. Because like everything is very good. He's still not even close to castling on any side. Because like queen can only go here. I mean this bishop can come out here, here or here and that's it. So he has to choose. So he wants to castle up queen side. So, I don't know, I feel like some b3 things would be, like, very strong here. Because I don't have to castle up yet. Why should I, you know? So, let's just push like this. Because we're going to castle up queen, king side, you know? We don't care. And now he does this. So, why not go like this? Okay, guys, I'm pushing a4 as well, because life is good. Life is good, you know. I I'm feeling confident with this type of play. <laughs> oh, he took it. I didn't notice that that was possible. But I don't care. Why should I care? We can just castle up. We don't have to be pinned. Hmm. Okay. So maybe I can go push like this. I don't know. This is weirding me out. Maybe I should better go like this. But he has a horse there. Let's kick a horse. I mean, he can take that. What, what's up with me? Guys, don't play d4. <laughs> don't play d4 ever okay this is not a sound opening move <laughs> you should never play d4 and he d4 is such a good move like i can't even guys what is this what is happening should i like defend him like this now or should we jump with the horse in the center oh but this is defended because of my rook silly me Silly little me. So we're going to go here now then. Because, yeah, why should I care? You know? He's plus one, but now I feel like I'm getting back. Because I just started pushing. It was c4, b4, a4. Like, it was all four. And I loved it. Okay, so he took out my pawn. For which I don't care. We took that back. In a blink of an eye. We take that back. We don't care. Okay, this looks very freaking interesting. But I know that he's just going to take that up with the horse. So maybe just going back here. I'm trying to like think of a strategy. Okay, but, but wait, we can go here. And we win his bishop as well, maybe. 
no wait i'm going to move him i have 58 seconds so that's kind of tricky and now we do this oh what he what did he take okay so now we're going to go oh my god I have to hurry up with 44 seconds on the clock. It's not very easy to do this. He wants to trade up queens. I don't know why I did went here. <sighs> but okay okay though and he actually moved okay here you go but what e what am i even planning here maybe i shouldn't have traded up now i'm just proposing trades like like somebody who is desperate And maybe I shouldn't have done it. What? Excuse me, they say I'm I'm disconnected. Like <laughs> that's a move. He has one minute, I have 11 seconds. Also could have gone here. Am I going to promote? Oh, that was a free rook. I didn't realize. I don't know why I went here. Yeah, I have one second. Guys, never play d4. Yeah, we lost this one. And we lost it for a reason. That's why I switched from, e4 to, uh, from d4 to e4, guys. This is the conclusion. So first game was won. It was won. I don't care how. It was won. And now this game is lost. So we are here coming to a conclusion after 18 minutes of me playing chess uh, that you should definitely play e4. It's a stronger opening move, especially for beginners. Maybe d4 is a little bit more confusing, more solid, and you have to be more careful. In e4, you can be more tactical and uh, your opponent will also tend to be more tactical. So they tend to maybe blunder more than uh, you if you know what you're doing so guys definitely play e4 e4 for the win <laughs> that is my conclusion in today's video hopefully you liked it and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you everyone who joined new i noticed that we have some new people here and it's very crazy so thank you so much for tuning in uh, make sure to add me on chess.com follow me on instagram and tiktok Join my Discord and my Soul Crushers Club on chess.com. Both of the links are in the video description down below. And uh, leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Do you prefer E4 or D4? Uh, and do you agree with my statement? <laughs> that is it, guys. Buymeacoffee.com slash Zapatzapeti is for donations. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Do not blunder. Do not resign. Just chill. Take your time. One move at a time. And everything will be fine. Have a nice day, night, morning, whatever it is at your place. Enjoy every moment that you have. And that is it from your chess doctor. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.